how back pressure works. Well, first I'll start with a two-stroke engine system. They're pretty simple, but back pressure is 100% important to make a two-stroke work properly. Well, this intestinal looking thing is called an expansion chamber. It's not a muffler, it's not an exhaust pipe. So it has a particular reason why it's that shape. It's that shape to allow the hot gases that come out of the exhaust and go through it to expand, but also to collect a shock wave and send the echo, the sound, the pressure wave of the shock wave back up through the exhaust to help create a pressure wave on the exhaust port to help make the engine run properly. On a two-stroke engine, there's where the intake comes in and the gas and air mixture is. Some engines like this one have reed valves in there. You can barely see them down in those holes. Of course, they have an exhaust port. So the way all this works, when the piston's going down, it's firing. But when the piston's coming back up in a two-stroke, there's a vacuum created in the crankcase, which is below here. And air and gas is sucked into that port, goes through the one-way valves, which are called reed valves. It fills up the chamber in the crankcase with the air-fuel mixture. And then the next time the piston fires, it gets pushed down, that slightly compresses the air gas mixture in the crankcase. And then it shoots up these two ports on both sides and comes out smaller holes in the piston wall. Or the cylinder wall, I mean. Hey baby, you come to help me? Well, that's called the charging effect or supercharger effect. Two strokes are self-supercharging. That's what makes them so powerful. Also, they fire every time the piston goes up, unlike a four-stroke that fires every other time. That's the exhaust port, and on the opposite side is the intake. Well, the kind of problem with two strokes is, one reason why they're so inefficient, is because when the piston gets halfway down, the exhaust and intake is open at the same time. That's not good because some of the intake mixture which is getting charged in from those ports is also going out the exhaust. Well, having back pressure prevents some of that gas from going out the exhaust. That effect is called purging. Purging means how effectively the exhaust can be eliminated from the cylinder and a brand new charge of air gas fuel brought in. So when the piston's down and you can see right into the cylinder, and of course if it was running you couldn't see it, having a bit of back pressure and a shock wave prevents a lot of the exhaust, uh, prevents a lot of that good intake charge from just going straight out the exhaust pipe so that it gives you increased torque and increased horsepower. At very high RPMs, that's not as effective. There is so little time because the engine's running so fast for some of that intake mixture to go out the exhaust that the back pressure isn't as important. At low RPMs, it's so important that many two-strokes won't even run without an exhaust system on them. Or else you have to make the mixture so rich and waste fuel just to keep them going. So exhaust systems for two-strokes are tuned to the power band of the engine and to the size of cc's that the cylinder is to make them run most effectively. Certainly changing the exhaust pipe, freer flow, gives you increased top end performance, but lower torque in the bottom end, less chance of doing wheelies. Four stroke engines are a little bit similar, except completely in the way that they function, but back pressure does sort of the same thing. Whenever the uh, piston is done at stroke, there's always a little bit of exhaust gas left in the compression chamber above the piston. Well, that's not that great for performance, but it aids a little bit in uh, low RPM performance for like four strokes also purge themselves somewhat while they're running. And of course, the less amount of back pressure you have, the more that they purge themselves, which means if there's less exhaust gases left in the combustion chamber above the piston, that means there's a, there's a chance that there's more air or oxygen going to be in there for the next charge, which leans the mixture. So whenever you, re you reduce back pressure on a four-stroke engine or a two-stroke engine, you have to increase jet size, which increases fuel flow.
back pressure increases, low end and low RPM fuel efficiency and torque, but hurts high end performance and fuel economy. So if we could have the perfect car, you would have a normal sounding car with a full back pressure exhaust system during city driving. And when you're on the highway or higher RPM use, if there was some way to bleed off the exhaust to a lower restricted way, then you would increase your performance and increase your fuel economy. On a two stroke or a four stroke, running too lean, maybe because you might have too little back pressure, will damage the engine. On a two stroke, the piston may get so hot that the center may melt and the piston will collapse. On a four stroke, it burns out the exhaust valves during continued use, not only if you do it for a short time, but if you use it a lot like that.